Chris with Retro Crit back for another video stream. We're jumping back into the takeover. It came out uh, in 2020. Not retro in terms of when it came out, but it's a retro inspired beat em up. Very 90s. Uh, it's very Streets of Rage esque. If I could coin a term. Um, so let's get back into it. I just had to restart my stream because uh, for some reason, I don't know, man. I, I'm always just having issues with OBS. I don't know if it's OBS or my computer or what, but there's always some issue. So I kind of I have to find workarounds all the time. I guess the, the important thing to note is I don't get taken out for too long. Yeah, of course, because guys just walk around in Muay Thai gear. Yeah, so anyways. I'll start a stream and, you know, I always forget to do a sound check before. So, I mean, it's it's my fault for not doing that, but, you know, I'm always just eager to jump into the stream and start the game up that I forget the sound. And then I start playing, I start recording and I start playing. I have a ton of videos where it's like like two minutes of me setting things up and there's no sound and I'm like, oh crap, I gotta start back over again. Uh, one of these days I'll get it. Yeah, so as I was saying before, this game came out in 2020 by a developer called Pelican 13 I haven't really been able to find anything aside from their Twitter handle and it's got no picture on profile picture on it so I don't even know if it's the actual person So yeah, when I play indie games, and, well, when I play games in general, but especially indie games, you know, I make a note to tag the developer. Because if it's a small developer, I just, you know, I, I want them to get, you know, I want them to get traffic as well. person behind him too. That's a good effect. It's got like a very like comic book feel to it. And graphically, uh, I feel like it's comparable to and this isn't really, this isn't a knock at all because I love PS2. So com I would say it's comparable to like PS2 level graphics. Which again, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's like I, I love all these retro inspired games because it's like 
the games that I grew up on, the games that I love, but uh, much more updated gaming mechanics, so it doesn't feel like you're just playing the stiffest game ever. Like a game that could benefit from that is Ninja Gaiden from Nintendo. Or the, that originally came out on Nintendo. I think it originally came out in the arcade, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't remember if it came out originally in the arcade or on NES. Probably the arcade. Probably the arcade because, you know, it's it never goes the other way around. palette that this game has. Yeah, he didn't throw it that far. Where'd it go? feeling. Alright, we're good. But why are you 
sound like the Joker. critiques of this game and it's a big one is that the levels are too long I say with total love and respect to the genre but like beat em ups aren't exactly the most imaginative games that doesn't mean they're bad I mean I, I love beat em ups they're pro probably one of my favorite genres but you don't want the level to last too, too, too long and to beat them up. You know, you just want to kind of get in, get out. But, you know, it's pretty much my only critique of the game. <clears throat> Other than that, I really, really like it. comic panels between you know the loading screen panel panels I guess you could call them they're really cool <laughs> you could probably just like run to the side or like run on top of it His name is Boot. Boot got the boot. Is that Fender from Cyborg, the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? Loading screens are getting out of hand. Excuse me. I'm tired today.
Yeah. Freedom! I don't know why I said freedom. Okay. Victory, I meant. took his phone. Alright, so that was level two of the takeover. Oh, look at that. Very, ooh, this is going to be a good one. Very uh, midnight club. Alright. So, I'll come back with the... Uh, next level another time it's gonna be fun uh see you guys in the next video